Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Living with V. And those of you that are new, I hope you all enjoy this, this pineapple cream cheese pound cake that I'm about to share with you all today. Uh, what we're starting off with is, um, we're going to let this up first. Uh, we're going to start off with the sugar. We're going to do three cups of sugar. I'm gonna pour all that. That's three cups of sugar right there. I'm gonna pour that in there. Then we're gonna let we're gonna do three sticks of butter. Three sticks of butter. Three sticks. All of this is three sticks. These are one of the high demand, high demand, what am I trying to say? These are one of the high demand cream cheese pineapple pound cake. High demand, it's in high demand. Family love this here cake. My mom, she loves my pound cakes. And we're going to add in six ounces of cream cheese. We're going to leave this extra cream cheese out. And then we're going to put a, we're going to churn all of this together. We're going to cream all of this together. And then we're going to do um, a third of a ricotta cheese. We're going to do a third of ricotta cheese. This amount, amount to be a third. This ricotta cheese is one of my newfound tips that I learned from a YouTuber that, um, and her name is Jana Young, and I love to watch her cook. She has such great tips. All right, we're going to churn all of this. We're going to turn it on low speed first. We'll turn all that together. So I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Okay. I have a very narrow bowl. So I have to kind of turn it off kind of often just to get the, uh, the sides kind of added in with my spatula. We're going to add those sides in, make sure everything is incorporated. Do this. Yeah, and also my sister, I, if I didn't tell y'all, she she loves my pine, my pineapple cream cheesecake. Matter of fact, she loves all my pine cakes. <laughs> so, And make sure before you add it, before you add all of your um, your first ingredients, your butter, your cream cheese, and your um, ricotta, that's if you're going to put that in there, you're going to make sure it's all room temperature. All room temperature. All right, it seems to have turned real fast there. And then we're going to add, um, we got six eggs. Six eggs. We're gonna add these eggs little by little by like one at a time. We're gonna let them incorporate in there one at a time. But well, we're not gonna take too long. <laughs> add another one, two. Some people like to alternate their eggs and their flour when they're making pound cakes. You can do it that way. But you also can do it the way that I'm doing it too. Then we're going to put another one in there. And we're going to drop another one. Then we're going to leave these two eggs here for, for later. Alright, we're going to come with a vanilla flavor. We're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla flavor. Mm 
getting sloppy with that flavor. <laughs> we're gonna do. We're gonna do like a, a fourth of lemon extract. All the liquid ingredients first. Every, all of that except the, the last two eggs. I'm gonna put this pineapple mix in there. This is a, a cup of crushed pineapple. The mine's parade. I like parade mines. I'm gonna put that in there. Now I took some of this. I took. I might have taken about a, a teaspoon and a half. Of this crushed pineapple and I'm saving that for my icing so now that we got all of that in there we're gonna do this we're gonna take it we're gonna keep her rolling we're gonna keep it turning and while it's turning we're gonna add slowly add the flour in there I got three cups of flour slowly add that in there little by little three cups of flour and the flour has, um, in this flour I added um, two tablespoons, not tablespoons, take that back, uh, two teaspoons of baking powder and a fourth spoon of salt. And I added in there. We're going to slow it down a little bit. Don't try this at home. Don't stick that spatula in there at home because when you stick that spatula in there, that blender gonna take it. <laughs> Who all had that accident before? <laughs> but I tend to be a little hard headed. <laughs> keep adding, cooperating this flour little by little. So how many of you guys are um how many of you guys are um uh, zooming with your friends and your family? Guess what? I am I zoom with uh, my Christian meetings and everything. And guess it, it is it's you know it's amazing how how much that you can uh it's amazing how much you can uh get out of zooming. It's amazing. It's true it truly is how much you can get out of zooming. Get to see your friends that you haven't seen in a while, even family members. I'm gonna add the last remaining of these two eggs. I'm gonna drop them in there one by one. Turn this blender a little up a little bit so I can whoop those eggs in there. And we're gonna get the last one. This is six eggs. Turn it down a little bit. We're gonna turn it off so we can get this bowl scraped on the sides and make sure we get everything incorporated with this cake.
like I was saying earlier, I hope you guys get to enjoy the uh, this this weekend. I really hope you all do because yeah, give it a little bit more blending. You don't want to do too much blending. All right, we're gonna take this cake out. I'm gonna dip my little clean washed hands in here and see if I can taste this. Mm. It's really light and fluffy. It really is. It's so fluffy, I'm almost scared of it. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna get my, um, my bowl for my cake. We're gonna put that, put this in a bowl. I didn't wanna really touch this bowl. But as we go, I'm going to put it in a bowl, and, you know, oh, I didn't even add all my, let me add all my flour incorporated in there. We're going to do that, because we can't go like that. Just a little bit, a bit, let it cook in there, cook in there, <laughs> let it all uh, churn in there, in that mix. Got a little messy there, didn't I? Like I said, if you're not making a mess, you ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Excuse my imperfections, everybody. Alright. Alright, I, what I did now is I took my, this is my pan here. I took it and I, um, I took this pan here. I'm trying to get get it where you guys can see what I'm doing, but I don't want to mess the camera up. So I'm gonna take it around right here. I took this pan and I, I uh, sprayed it. I sprayed it with uh, Baker's Baker's Joy. Sprayed it with Baker's Joy. I'm just knocking stuff down with Baker's Joy. And um, what I did after after I sprayed it, I put it in the uh, Sorry about that, you guys. I put it in the uh, in the top of the refrigerator, my freezer part. And what it does is make your cake turn out where it just come come you know where it just comes completely out the uh, pan when it's hot. When you get it out the oven, it comes out without a hassle. Most of the time, it worked for me. So, you know. Oh, I shouldn't even scrape that part. I'm just gonna leave that right there. Yeah, this this trip this good. Get that pineapple juice and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'll take it and I'll snap it from the mixer and I'll put it in here put it in the bowl if you guys see what I'm doing uh -huh. pull me old blender out the way I'll put it in the bowl and I'll turn that bowl around Turn this cake bunt pan around. Make sure you guys have the right size bowl, well, bunt pan when you're uh, making this cake, because this is a a lot of mix, and it need a really deep set bunt pan to make this cake. Turn the bowl around again. This cake really tastes good. Just tasting it. They said, okay, you and the raw eggs. Okay, you and the raw eggs. <laughs> oh my. 
You don't think about when, when that sugar is being added in there with those raw eggs, you forget almost that they're raw eggs. <laughs> you forget all about it. It just takes over that taste. It's like when you were a child, you know, that medicine nasty. They do, they mix it with a little sugar. Okay, you guys, what I'm gonna do is right now, from, from here on out, I'm about to put my little ditch in the middle of the cake. So that it can, when it rise, you can have that little crack in it. It'll give it some uh, pressure to uh, to cook all the way through. It'll give it some pressure. It'll, it'll, what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to say it'll, it'll give it the ability to cook all the way through. And that's what I like about putting a ditch in it. And also allow you to, to pour that icing in that little crack of the ditch that you put into the cake, like what I'm doing now. You can pour that icing in there once it's cooked, and it'd be so extra good. <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to let it bake, and then I'm going to be back with you all. I'm going to tune back in with you guys, and we're going to see how the results of this cake turned out. Hello, you guys. We're back. I'm back, and I want to show you all the results of this cake. Isn't it beautiful? It's just beautiful how it turned out. It's amazing. Yes, it is so beautiful, and it's so luscious looking. Wow. And you see that ditch pattern I was telling you guys about before I came to my next little thing? Um... While this cake was baking, what I did is made the icing for it, and I have two cups. I used two cups of, uh, I'm going to put that icing, lay that icing down in that little ditch right there. And when I, what I made it with was, um, sorry about that, you guys. I made it with two cups of uh, powdered sugar, a teaspoon and a half of crushed pineapples, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a fourth of lemon extract flavor, four spoons. And what I like to do is, um, and I also put a, a teaspoon of, of milk in it and a tablespoon of butter. But I just like to lay that icing on the top of this cake and just let it just roll to the sides. I'll just put all the icing on the top. And I like to lay it in the ditch so it could, could be in the crevices of it. And then it just rolls off the side on its own wheel. I fills it up on the top until until it just rolls off the side. And if y'all decide to try this cake, you wouldn't be going wrong decide to try it you wouldn't regret it because it, it is so it is so good you know I can't say nothing I, there's nothing else can can really explain how, how it is it's just good <laughs> I'm gonna help it fall off the sides a little bit but I like it kind of I like that icing to lay kind of thick on the top. Now you also can eat this without the icing. It, it, it leaves a, a, a crispy top to it. 
And I kind of like my pineapple cakes. Not just pineapple cakes, but my pineapple and my other pound cakes. I kind of like them like that, kind of crispy on the top. But um, I, I want to make sure I put all my icing in there. For some reason, I feel like when that icing rolls on the side, it kind of, uh, like you're losing your icing. <laughs> so I just put it all on the top so most of it could lay on the top in the end. Okay. Oh, that looks so luscious, you guys. Do y'all think that I'm going to let y'all... leave my channel without me tasting this cake <laughs> I got to check taste it I'm pretty sure y'all want me to do it too but it looks so good I, I'm, it looks so good I have I have to taste it, it looks so good uh -oh. I get kind of rough every now and then with the cooking thing. Okay. I'm gonna cut into it. I'm gonna cut into it. Just a second, you guys. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna cut into it. Cut on the other side. It's kind of crumbly because it wasn't too long out of the oven. So, I'm going to do this. All right. That looks, uh oh. <laughs> that looks so good. I couldn't wait to, I just couldn't wait to the next day. And I think I'm guilty of that a lot. Okay. All right. You always want to see how this tastes, do you? I wish you guys could taste this. Just look at that. Look at that. I'm going to turn it around. Just look at that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at all the icing just pouring off of there. Just look at that. I'm going to taste that little corner right there. Mmm. Mmm. So moist. So flavorful. It's great. Mmm. 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 -mm. I'm going to close it out tonight, you all. And I hope you all decide to make this cake because. Guess what? It is it is just wonderful. And do not forget to subscribe. If you like my channel, subscribe, comment, and uh, share with with other other uh, social media programs. And also um, turn your notification bells on if you want to uh, tune in to more of my more of my uh, vlogs. You guys have a good night. And I once again, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy the weekend.